Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with another retirement video. This one's going to address the question, has the three-legged stool model broken down for most Americans? Now we've heard about this all of our lives, that we'll need three sources of income to support us in retirement. We'll need an employer-sponsored pension, we'll need a government social security payment, and then we'll also need private savings. Now a lot of people believe this model has broken down. But in the next few minutes, I'll offer up some basic statistics on each of these sources of retirement income, and then I'll give you my take on whether the three-legged stool is still standing. Now, the first leg is the employer-sponsored pension plans. There's many forms of these plans, but the most common is the defined benefit pension plan, where the employer guarantees that the employee will receive a defined amount upon retirement. American Express established the very first pension plan back in 1875, so they've been around a while. In the 1980s, defined pension plans covered one half of all private sector workers. Today, only 10% of private sector workers are covered. But 90% of public sector workers still have defined pension plans, and around 18% of all U.S. workers are employed by the public sector. Okay, the second leg is Social Security payments, and in the United States, Social Security payments are possibly the most talked about source of retirement income for most people. The very first Social Security payment went to Ernest Ackerman in 1937, a total of 17 cents. Now, 17 cents wouldn't buy you a cup of coffee today. But contrary to common perception, the payments for retirees come from current workers. In 1950, 16 and a half workers supported every one retiree. In 2013, only three workers supported every retiree. And by 2035, it's estimated that each retiree will be supported by two workers. Now, there's a major turning point coming up within a year or two in the Social Security program. Up until now, the program has taken in more revenue than it pays out to retirees. This is going to reverse some estimate in 2020, and Social Security will have to start dipping into the trust fund to make payments. Without any changes to the program, the trust fund should last until 2035. I'll be 80 then. But there are alternatives to keep it going. One is to push back the qualifying retirement age. The second is to tax more income beyond the current $128,000 cap. And third is to reduce the payments at some point. And I'm sure there's other alternatives, but those are three that are being talked about. One thing that you can be sure of, this is going to generate a lot of debate over the next decade. All right, now for the third leg, personal savings. The third leg of the stool is one that we can control, but the question is, are we? Our economy is based on consumption, so how much are we actually saving? Well, the current U.S. savings rate is around 8% of net disposable income. So let's just say for a family income of $60,000, 8% would amount to $4,800 per year. Now invested annually over a 40-year career at 4% interest, your bank account would grow to somewhere around $456,000. But are Americans saving? Well, the median net worth for Americans is $97,000, but that ranges from $60,000 for 40-year-olds to $187,000 for 60-year-olds. Other cultures save more. A list that I looked up recently said Japan tops the list with a 54% savings rate. China has a 38% savings rate. Other countries save less than Americans, like the UK, Australia, and Canada, which all have less than a 4% savings rate. So is the three-legged stool broken? Well, it depends. If you're a 60-year-old baby boomer, then your three-legged stool is probably still standing. I'm sitting on mine right now. But if you're a millennial working in the private sector, you probably feel like you're on your own. My daughter said they were taught all through grade school that they shouldn't count on Social Security. Now, I wouldn't have gone that far because adjustments to the program can be made and probably will be made. Guys, I feel positive about the future because there are things that we can do to help out future generations. 
Stay tuned for videos on that subject. Take care and count your blessings if your stool is still standing.